Hi everyone, if you have been struggling with stagnant energy recently in the form of gas, cramping and bloating, you are at the right place. I have a 10 minute relaxing sequence today for you, which will help you let go of what doesn't serve you, mentally and physically. If you enjoy yoga and meditation, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a free class. Okay, get on your mat and let's begin. All right, friends, come into a child's pose with your toes touching and knees as wide as the mat, arms extended in front of you. Send the hips down toward the heels, melt your forehead and chest toward the mat. You could also prop the forehead on a pillow or a block if you don't reach the mat. Take a few calming breaths through the nose into the belly. Inflate your abdomen and feel the rib cage expanding. Breathing here. Feeling the release in the upper body. On your next inhale, gaze forward and root your palms into the mat to shift your weight forward into all fours. Walk the hands a bit further in front, melt the chest and forehead to the mat. Keep the tailbone high. Puppy pose. Stretch through the arms. Feel the spine extending. This pose helps relieve chronic stress, which is a common cause for bloating. It also introduces a slight engagement in the abdomen, promoting good digestion and relieving cramps. Inhale, shift your weight forward and come into all fours. Start moving through some cat cows, inhaling, drop the belly, look towards the sky. And exhale, send the tailbone down, hollow the spine. Inhale, gaze up, belly reaches for the mat, tailbone is lifted. Exhale, arch the spine, pull your heart in. Keep moving through cat cow, maybe starting to draw circles with the torso, lingering on any areas that need extra care. Stretching out the belly and massaging the internal organs, providing a little bit of help with detoxing the body. With the next inhale, settle back to center and come to sit on your heels. Raise the arms overhead, gaze up. Exhale, twist to the right. Left hand is resting on the outside of the right knee. Twist your torso from the waist and gaze slightly behind you. Inhale, lengthen the crown of the head. Exhale, twist a bit further. Keep breathing into the belly. Inhale, come back to center, raise the arms up. Exhale, twist to the left. Keep the shoulders down and the chest open, softening further into the twist on each exhale. These simple twists help with eliminating any waste and tension from the body. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, plant the palms in front of you and shift the hips to one side, coming into a seat. Hug the knees into your chest and gently roll back to lying on your mat. Move around, adjust the spine, placing the lower back firmly on the mat. Keep hugging the knees in, maybe rolling gently side to side and then up and down, holding onto the knees. Once you're comfortable, find some stillness in this pose and flex the feet towards you. Pavan Muktasana or Wind Relieving Pose. This is yoga's MVP when it comes to bloating and stomach discomfort. 
dispose, removes excess air from the digestive system and eases tension in the hips and lower back. Roll the shoulders back towards the mat. Allow the chest to open. Breathe into the hips and belly. Inhale, interlace your fingers around your right knee and exhale, extend the left foot out and relax it down the mat. Flex both feet. Lengthen the left hip flexor, ground the left heel. On an exhale, guide the right leg to the opposite side of the mat, coming into a supine twist. Turn your gaze to the right. Keep both shoulders on the mat and then the right arm extended on the floor. Take a few deep, smooth breaths here, allowing gravity do the work for you. On the inhale, come back to center, hug both knees into the chest and then extend the right leg while hugging the left knee into the chest. Flex the feet, use the breath to ground the right leg on the mat while pulling the left knee slightly closer to the belly. Breathe into the hip area. Exhale, send the left knee to the right, extend the left arm along the floor and gaze to the left. Inhale into the lower back. Exhale, allow your body to dissolve into the mat. Don't push too hard here. Feel the support of the surface underneath and relax into the twist. Inhale, come back to center and give your knees a big hug, flexing the feet. Exhale, engage the core, bring the head up to the knees. Hold here, breathe and maybe guide your head closer to the knees on each exhale, deepening the stretch. Exhale, relax the whole spine back on the mat. From here, keep the feet flexed and reach your palms on the outside of the soles. Bring your knees even closer to the chest and face the soles of your feet towards the sky, opening through the hips, sending the knees wide. Plug your shoulders in and keep the entire spine flushed with the mat. Happy baby pose. Explore how you feel here. Invite some movement if you wish. Maybe extending one leg and then the other. Or rocking from side to side. Close down the eyes. Use your breath to guide the shoulders further towards the floor. We are releasing the tension in the hips and spine in this posture, stimulating the digestive system and also opening up to releasing any stagnant energy which usually accumulates in the hips. On your next exhale, bring the heels to meet and release them to the mat, creating a diamond shape with the legs. Release the arms to either side. If your hips feel tight here, you can prop the legs by placing blocks or pillows under each knee. Supta Baddha Kanasana. Beautiful pose to relax deeply and increase circulation in the lower abdomen, easing the flow of fresh blood to the bladder, kidneys and digestive organs. Take a deep breath all the way down to the hips, filling the whole torso with air. And then exhale, release everything. Feel the body becoming lighter with each exhale.
Bring your attention to the area of the hips. Send your breath there. Slowly start extending both legs. Inhale, bring the arms overhead and take a full body stretch, elongating the torso. As you exhale, release the arms alongside the body. Take the feet and hands as wide as the mat. Close down the eyes if you haven't already and invite a sense of relief and calm. Feel the support of the floor under you. Notice the flow of your natural breath. Allow the whole body to dissolve into the mat. Hopefully you're feeling a bit more at ease, a bit more renewed at the end of this practice. Thank you for looking after yourself and showing up on the mat today. Namaste. Let me know how you like the flow in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to support me and to get more free yoga videos. And don't forget, the source of your joy is within.